should give our audience more credit and educate them, right? Because now maybe they'll look for Slick Rick and check out some of his old records. Yeah, maybe they'll find Big Daddy Kane and maybe they'll find all those people. But as well, um, in Hip Hop Police, you touched on some very sensitive issues. And I, I thought it was dope listening to the record when you really listened to what you're saying. Um, some of the things such as um, when you're educating your black you're not black man. Yeah, exactly. You know, that's real. That part-time hustle ain't gonna last forever. Yeah, that's real. And I'm wondering if you feel like sometimes black people, our our our, our moral system and and our our values. Do you think sometimes those things maybe hold us back? Man, I always say that because the people around me, like I always say this, like a broke person is always gonna tell you how to make a dollar. People used to be around me, and they didn't have no money, and they telling me how to get money. I'm like, I got money. I think I know what I'm doing. How you going to tell me? You can't even get money for yourself. But they'll always be like, nah, we can't do that, or we can't do that. And I, every time I start talking about, man, we need to learn how to do this, they'll be looking at me like, man, I ain't trying to do that smart stuff, man. Let's go hit this club. And I'm looking at them like, that's why you ain't got nothing, because you don't want to learn something. Like, how every time you come coming to me and you, your contract, you asking me, man, just ask me stuff about your contract. You should know what it says. Like, mm. I have a problem with that. I want people to know. So that's why my artists around me, I tell them everything a CEO wouldn't tell them so they can, they can know it. When they're in the marketplace and they start talking to you, it's going to look authentic because they're going to understand per diems, publishing, everything. And that way they, I can build another leader that's going to be successful because nowadays everybody around us, we don't want to own nothing. We don't want nothing. We just want to just look like we got it. And I'm not down with that. Get your mind right. Yeah, get your mind correct, baby. <laughs> And it's weird because at the same time, it's so good to see someone in the hip-hop industry trying to educate and, and who stands by his morals. Because a lot of times, it's those things, the images we see in a lot of videos that sometimes kids, uh, you know, they want to uh, aspire to be like. But they don't understand what goes on behind the scenes of the truth of it all. Yeah. Which is great. No, that's real. I definitely try to show them a balance because people don't really realize how hard it was. Like, every time I do an interview, people only see the success of riding. And they're like, man, his record just blow up. It's so... It's crazy how so many people be like, Riding just blew up. They don't understand when I first had that record and I was taking it to DJs, they was like, man, this is too slow, man. What, I can't even understand what y'all are saying. It was a long process. I stayed on the road for a year to push that record and it finally blow, blew up and the outcome is only what they remember. So you got to show people there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes and you know you just got to realize that you know this rap stuff is really here one day and gone the next. There's a lot of artists that used to be on this chair that I ain't here no more. So Ho you got to take it seriously. Hopefully you'll be back, though. Oh, yeah, I know be you back, will though. be back. <laughs> we got Tim on side with an audience question. Tim. Yes, I've got El Tisha right here with me. And now she claims to be one of the biggest fans. So uh, what do you want to say to Chameleon there? Well, first of all, Cam, you know what? I love you. You know, you're my <laughs> idol. No, seriously, you're my idol after my mom, really. You got, your music <laughs> got me through a lot. Your music got me through a lot. I can't see you yet, but I will see you. And I just want to I just wanna ask you. At this, up until this point of your career, what Tim, do you, con what Tim, do you, you know consider? What? Sorry, I don't mean to cut you off. Tim, why don't you just bring her in here? If she really wants yeah, to meet her, her in, bring her in. Why don't you bring her let's in go, here to meet her? <laughs> that was good, that was She's good. She's even emotional and whatnot, so be good. You can come and ask him another the question yourself. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, she brought a t-shirt and everything. <laughs> come on in, come on in, come on in. Come on in. Yeah. She's all shaking and stuff. What do you want to ask? It's, it's okay. okay. I'm what a normal you... guy. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's gangster. Try to what catch you... me riding dirty <laughs> shirt. I like that. What do you want to ask, millionaire? Up until this point in your career, what do you consider your ultimate victory so far? Man, that's a good question. Good question. Good one. Um, I think my real ultimate victory, really, beyond all the success and the Grammys and everything, is really just getting to a point now where I'm appreciating it and loving life. You know what I'm saying? Like, recently, I just went bowling for the first time, and it was fun. Like, I, I realized that I'm good at everything I try. You know what I'm saying? Like, I went, I went fishing for the first time. Like, in all these years of my life, I never really did some of the simple things because I was working so hard for success. And now that's what ultimate victory means, just really enjoying it. So I'm actually enjoying it now, you know? Ten pin or five pin? I'm, I'm it, makes, it makes a big difference. <laughs> See, I don't want to lie, man. I don't want to lie. Because if I tell you what I really do, then you're going to be like, oh, he's a scrub. No, it's all good, man. <laughs> Thank you very much for your question. We appreciate it. You can have a seat right Tune there inside, in. right there on the end, right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> all right, we got a lot of people as well want to meet us out. We're going to head out to the window. Right, let's let's go. go. Yes, a lot of people want to take some pictures and whatnot. So before we take off here, you ever take media training? Because you're well-spoken and, and you're well-tempered and whatnot. I'm just wondering. 
Uh, my my label wanted me to take media training, but I was like, nah, I ain't taking no media training because I didn't want them to teach me how to be, how they, like, sometimes I'll talk and I'll be stuttering, but I want it to be natural, so I was like, nah, I'm not taking media training, but I'm, I feel like I'm one of the artists that don't really need it as much. <laughs>